exactly how you count it. If you include violent crime committed by the state, either themselves or by Albion, their chosen violent crime contractors, which provide pretty very valuable crime and services to people up. Well, it's probably not quite as low as the figures. I don't know. I, I think the figures are It's just much less of a society. Oh, What have we become? And if we look at the state of our politics, we're supposed to have the mother of parliaments. Well, this is one mother that has emphatically abandoned her kids in the woods to be brought up by wolves. And let me tell you, that never works out like it does in the story. Auto drive now enabled. Are bad parents. <laughs> Unless you're a wolf, in which case they can do it well when you want. Do not give your children to wolves. And do actually own anything as a country now, do anything that is logged off the pocket. I think we've basically just become a homeopathic woman. Their leaders and their leaders and their various stages of religion have written left. But some quacky believers have seen if it actually works better that way. And it's total bullshit. Is there anything left? A new one about this week. A new feature. The Bug Off feature. Uh, the person who was most irritated uh, in Britain uh, this week. We're going to tell the Bug Off. And she's got to the going to nominate uh, Big Nigel. Nigel Catholic, this is Britain. Uh, this will tell us this place is a bastion of freedom. I'm just not sure that that kind of freedom should involve Big Nigel expressing his freedom to run a private army. I guess, historically, there is a precedent, the East India Company. That was a trading house with an army of 250,000 soldiers, which is a lot for a company. The bug CLP has Alice with a wrist whistle. But crucially, <laughs> the Federal Army, the East India Company, didn't operate its 40 million strong army in London. Uh, he did it a long way away, out of sight. Out of mind. Anyone to nominate for a sort of bug off? Alex? I think today's bug off for me goes to my streaming service. I'm sick of being recommended things based on things I already like. The other day it recommended me to watch a reality TV companion dating show set in a new commune. Andy, I watched this and I liked it.
I know we've got these players who are going to come to but there isn't that much more we know about it other than this tech that we've got. Why do you have an unauthorized spider drone in your area? Control, we've received the call over. When you've got a mind as amazing as Dai, why wouldn't you want to take what you've got? and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your... Suspect is unsighted, self, unsighted sweeping area. Around you, ...implementing more technologies that extend your life and really sort of extend human capabilities. You found pretty much in love with Skylark, and I have to say. I can't call Return it. Auto to drive now disabled. I'm a fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible, because some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and Bagley has been this really incredible Auto assistance drive now to enabled. humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson? Really? I thought she never spoke to me or anything. So this was a long time ago, back in the day when she was a little bit more accessible. And she was one of these people that just had an amazing presence. We were inspired by her very being and she was just incredibly talented and knowledgeable and one of possibly the best living people that I've ever met. Not sure you're being too objective there. I mean I imagine she's not very likable as a person. She obviously despises humanity in some ways. I think she believes that becoming data is preferable to being human. She's one of these people who's extremely methodical in everything that she does, and she does everything to perfection and really tries to change the world around her. Make it a As always, uh, Alice and uh, I deny everything. <laughs> just a good state of existence. Some good news. At last, there are no medicine shortages. Auto drive now disabled. None at all. There have been various allegations about that. It turns out they are all fake news. Trademark. There are none. There are no shortages of medicine. Don't take it from me. I'm not a medical supply expert. <laughs> take it from our beloved government. It's fine. In fact, I'm going to read between the lines here and actually say there, there's probably there's too much medicine. If anything, just medicines. Medicine. You can't move the medicine factory this morning. A doctor bought some cornflakes into a bowl for breakfast and out tumbled a 12 month course of immunosuppressants, corticosteroids, and antiretrofungal neurodilatory estrogen spermatotropic fruit pastels. The people claiming there are medical shortages are probably high. Oh. Oh. Getting out of here. How's it going? Oh, fuck yes, turn it up. Let's fucking party! Okay, I'm Prat! This is not the answer. Come on now. Anyway, if you don't believe what you read or hear about there not being enough medical drugs to go around, it's not true. The hospital yeah. holds on to the same people who with medical men back in the hospital. It's an infection, 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 it's an infection. You do not believe the new television that we've run out of. Nor do you believe the anti-trials of a chemist. They're also lying. Do not believe your doctor saying, sorry, we're fresh out of that. You're going to have to eat a carrot and pretend. <laughs> uh, do not believe your own cobweb-ridden medicine cabinet at home. It might look empty, but it's not. For it contains the only medicine any of us truly need. Stirring music, please, producer Chris. Freedom. The medicine <laughs> of British freedom. And the analgesic knowledge that however ill you may be, I'm keeping an eye on things for you. I'm investing heavily in the placebo effect right now. You're listening to the band. Obviously, I don't necessarily mean that, because what is the first rule of the third millennium? If someone in power tells you something is fake news, what is it? Correct. A 110% cast iron, tungsten coated, granite scented, cosmically unusual, scientifically unarguable fact. But surely, Alice, the more important question is. Really Act vehicle identified. Searching for the source. Do we have medical shortages? Yes, we do. 
Getting our sold and throwing bits of metal around has got to count as training somehow. Coming up today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, 